Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And those little macros, a free macro from our friend Eskimo. I'm not, I just started playing around with it. It's so easy to use. I haven't, the only thing I can see the advantage of, I've got my laser bed size right here. And the customer wants 55 point fonts. So we need to figure out, and they want a, like a one inch border around the fonts on the plaque. So you can just select all that and open up fit to page. We're gonna give it a one inch margin. And this is gonna go fit to page to content. And what it did, it fit the content and we're one inch from the sides. Now, well, I took a, I need the parallel dimension jewel. And we're, well, it's just cause I'm off a little bit on my mark, but if you see we're one inch from all margins, and then what you want to do, if you wanted to make this the size of your plaque, just double click on your uh, the rectangle tool, and then you can take all this and like move it out of the way, and then you could change your, to me, I would change my laser size back to 40 by 28, and then this is my plaque and I need to cut the wood basically eight inches by 4.8 inches. So that way you can kind of figure it. And I'm sure there's, I'm hoping uh, Eskimo will watch this and tell me what other uh, things this would help you do. But it's a pretty cool macro for doing stuff like that. And you could do, you know, a lot of it, you know, just, it doesn't have to be text. It could be, you know, you could have a bunch of circles and we want to make a plaque for that item. All you'd have to do is select them and put a one inch border. And then, so the one inch is from the furthest north, south, or up and down, left and right. If we take a rectangle tool or the parallel dimension tool, and you can see this one's probably going to be less. Yep. I got that one pretty close to being right on the money, but the furthest one to the bottom is one inch off. And if I'm out of decimal places, just because I put it at an angle. So there's a lot that could be done with this. Uh, I can imagine if you wanted everything spaced out evenly around your plaque. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.